Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop. And in a recent video on a trip to Montana, we mentioned drinking tapache, and we wanted to show you how you can make it at home. First, what is tapache? Tapache is a fermented drink that's made from pineapple scraps, and there's a yeast on the skin of a pineapple that when mixed with sugar, it will ferment and makes a low alcohol uh, content drink that's usually maybe only around 2% but you can jump it up a little bit by mixing beer in or mixing in some different alcohol. The most important ingredient is the pineapple. To make our drink, we are going to ferment the pineapple. It rinds in a big glass jar. So this is a two gallon jar. You're gonna remove the top of the pineapple. You don't need to wash it and we recommend that you buy an organic pineapple. Usually I just cut the, uh, the rind off and my son usually devours all of the rest of the pineapple fruit, but we're going to throw some of the fruit in uh, as well. Okay, I got my jar of pineapple um, fruit and scraps in here. And we're gonna put some sugar in here and we're gonna use traditional pilancillo, which is an evaporated cane syrup. Uh, if you don't have this, you can just use brown sugar, but come on, you're making tapache. Let's do the real thing. Pilancillo is really hard. And so to dissolve this, I put it in a, uh, a little bit of water in a pot on the stove and dissolve it in some hot water. How cool is that spoon? Isn't that cool? It's cool? I think it's cool. I mean, if you don't have a cool spoon like that, I mean. <laughs> okay, once the pill and CO is dissolved in the hot water, we're gonna let it cool down because you don't wanna throw boiling water in here and kill the yeast that's on your pineapple. Uh, other ingredients that are gonna go in, we're gonna throw in a cinnamon stick. We're also gonna throw in some whole cloves. We're gonna put some cold water in here first and then we'll put that uh, pill and CO mixture in. We're gonna add our pill and CO mixture. Okay, we have it all set and it needs to just hang out now on the counter for three days. And so I'm gonna take uh, just this uh, little cheesecloth here and put this over it with a rubber band around it. But I'm gonna wait a little bit uh, and I'm gonna do that later this afternoon. The air, natural yeast in the air will help with the fermentation process too. The color right now is like caramel color and it's going to, as it starts to ferment and eat up those sugars, it's gonna to start to turn a little bit more golden. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out in three days, I'm gonna take out all of the pineapple and uh, everything out of here and strain it. I'm gonna pour in a Rogers Pilsner and I'm using a Pilsner because it has an ale yeast in it. You don't wanna use a lager. So, and you definitely wanna use a Georgetown Rogers Pilsner because Georgetown is the best. I'll pour the beer in put back in the tapache without the pineapple and let it sit for another day or two and then I will bottle it so that it carbonates with the last little bits of sugars creating that carbonation. Okay, the tapache is ready to be transferred and bottled and then by bottling it, that's gonna give it carbonation. So first, I'm gonna use this IOSTAR, which is uh, an iodine solution. And a lot of people that like do home brewing use this stuff. It's great because you mix the solution in your bottles and it sterilizes everything. One thing I didn't mention earlier in the beginning of the video, if you let your tapache sit too long, it turns into vinegar and it'll turn funky. And, uh, and it, some of it's actually pretty good. You can actually even make it into vinegar and so, Here's a bottle of pineapple vinegar. And to make this, I leave out the, uh, leave out the 
cinnamon and the cloves. So this glass container is the same size as the other one. I'm gonna transfer the tapache into here and then I can use the spigot to be able to fill up my containers. When you get close to the bottom, a lot of times there's a bunch of spent yeast and some other debris and so I, Try to keep an eye on that. So here's my tapache. So one, one step that uh, you didn't see in the video that I did was when I uh, took out all of the pineapple scraps and transferred it into, um, into the other glass jar, I put, I put a beer in and then, uh, and then got the, the stuff out. You want to leave some space because it is going to pressurize. I did have one of these explode in my kitchen at one in the morning one time. That was horrible. 